In an impact check update, a man will now spend decades behind bars in the first cell phone related distracted driving case to go to trial and results in a guilty verdict here in Florida. Florida 24 investigative reporter Katie Legrone has been tracking this story for months and has more on this monumental case. You'll be sentenced to five years in the Florida Department of Corrections, each consecutive to the 15 for a total sentence of 30 years. 30 years. That's how long 40-year-old Gregory Andriotis will spend in prison for a deadly crash he caused after using his cell phone behind the wheel. The judge calling his actions a conscious disregard for life. The bottom line is there is a penalty that must be paid. Hours before the sentencing in Hernando County Thursday, Andriotis, a husband and father of two, spoke publicly for the first time since the 2016 crash, apologizing to Brooke and Jordan Shearer for causing the wreck that killed their little boy instantly and seriously injured them and their young daughter. I wish more than anything that I could change what happened that day. I would gladly trade places with him if it meant he, get, he got to live. Logan Shear was just nine years old when Andriota slammed into the back of the family's SUV while they were parked in traffic on I-75 near Brooksville. Investigators determined Andriotis was going nearly 80 miles per hour before impact. The force pushing six cars some 76 feet. Logan deserved to live a full life. I took that away from him and I took him away from you. But for the Shearers, whose tragedy helped inspire Florida's current no texting and driving law, Andriotis's courtroom apology doesn't change what they've already lost. We cannot stand idly by and let others diminish the loss of our son. We won't stand for it. While the case represents the first cell phone related distracted driving crash case to go to trial in Florida, the jury's guilty verdict and vehicular homicide charge is also considered a nationwide first, creating a new legal precedent for deadly crashes caused by cell phone related distracted drivers. Most of the families that the person walks away with a slap on the wrist, sometimes they even keep their driver's license and are driving away. And so this is again, we need serious consequences. Just like drunk driving, distracted driving is killing families. For the Shears, Thursday's sentencing brought tears and peace. It's a very surreal, it's very surreal. I think I finally took a, a breath of air for the first time in seven years. And the beginning of a new phase to a movement they all hope Logan will be proud of. I know he'd be proud to see that we've worked hard enough that it's happened, and I know he'd be really happy. And that 30-year maximum sentence includes 15 years for Logan's death and five years for three counts of reckless driving after Logan's mom, dad, and his younger sister all sustained serious injuries in the crash. I'm Katie Legrone in Hernando County.